Hey, what is up, you guys? Perry the Entertainer here, hosting another video. I am so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm. I feel so bad though because, you know, I was said I was gonna make a video Thursday and Sunday, and I promised you guys to storm, which I didn't get to do because I was sick. And obviously, as most, if you can see that, I have gotten sunburnt very badly. So, that's one of the reasons why I kind of couldn't do a video. But, anyway, um, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for staying with me. Um, in fact, I want to thank you, all you guys who subscribed from the website. Um, if you would like to check out the website, link is down in the description. Basically, it's all about sports. Um, I have a WWE section, pay-per-view section. I do a TV thing, like after Smack or after Raw today. I'm going to fi uh, find a picture of it and I'm going to put it on my website and I'll, you know, type a little review of the main event. Um, I'll do that for uh, Raw, SmackDown, and for some reason I'm doing it for TNA. Um, so, um, I got basketball stuff, hockey stuff, since they're coming towards the end, um, football stuff and MMA, which is UFC stuff, so, uh, yeah, I know you guys wanted the surprise, and I know this is probably gonna be a long video, because I gotta explain myself, and blah, 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 uh, uh, I, I know you guys were expecting a surprise, but that will debut tonight, and I guarantee it, thank you to Black with Evil who made that catchphrase, but anyway, um, you're gonna expect a lot from me tonight, you're gonna see a Tough Enough prediction, if you guys don't know already, Tough Enough is ending tonight, um, and also my Sunday rant, which is Monday rant now, uh, well, right now, today. Um, and obviously if I, if you guys didn't watch the, um, uh, SmackDown video that I made, I said I was going to do a Sunday rant on, uh, champions who are African American. Um, so yeah, so if you guys would like to check out the, uh, website, link is down in the description box, basically all that stuff is down there, please subscribe. 98 subscribers, I'm so happy. Uh, thank you guys so much, and, uh, so let's start this video. So basically, uh, I'll start with the Tough Enough prediction. Um, like I said, this Tough Enough season has been the best. In fact, it starts in about an hour for me. Um, I am just so shocked that it's actually been this good, because honestly, I thought it was just gonna be, oh god, it's gonna get cancelled after a few seasons. No. It was very good. In fact, I was actually anticipating this more than I was anticipating Raw. And that's what's weird. But obviously, you got Andy Levine and Luke Robinson left. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys are saying Luke, and that's the, obviously because he's a good wrestler. But I'm actually going to go off. I'm actually going to predict Andy for this. Only for the fact, it's not that I want to be the oddball in this, it's because I think Andy has a lot more potential than Luke. Honestly, honestly. You know, WWE likes that test figure. If you don't know who test is, wow. Well, except for Black with Evil, who has only been watching since last year. But still, um, I don't know if they'll be joining me for the thing. I have to log on to Skype probably right after this. So uh, I'm probably getting on 630. If you'd like to talk to me, feel free. So, uh, Skype is down in the website, and i got to put that on there then because I forgot to put that on there. Um, but... This has been a very interesting, tough enough season. I'm glad that they're getting another season. I think starts, I mean, a month or something. I don't know. Uh, probably we'll find out later tonight if it does, if there's going to be another season. And um, I'm actually going to predict Andy for this because I think, honestly, Andy, they like those tough enough figures. That's the big thing. They really like those, not tough enough, they like the test figures. McMahon likes those big, beefy guys, you know. He loves those, er, you know, you got the muscle. He loves those guys. Look at look at who they had. Batista, Bobby Lashley, John Cena. All of these bodybuilders. Well, Bobby Lashley wasn't an official bodybuilder, but still, he had a pretty beefed body. So, they like those big, juicy ones. You know, they like the big strong one. So if I had to pick anybody, it'd pick Andy actually. Luke is gonna come in a clear second and obviously he's gonna get a contract no matter what. Even if he does lose, he's gonna get a contract. I don't see this guy lo or leaving WWE anytime soon. Really I don't. Alright, so 
at the five minute mark starting right here i'm gonna start talking about the monday rant which is black or african american wwe champions now it's very rare that you ever see a uh african american champion just like last week we could have saw a black intercontinental champion excuse my language i don't want to say black or negro or anything if any of you guys are african american please don't feel offended by this please don't um it's not meant towards you guys it's meant really towards wwe and why they're not pushing the african americans i really don't get that um well really i think only ones like only main main african americans i can think of uh in wwe wcw is a different story i remember ron simmons booker t they had all these those guys and yeah um, but in WWE, only ones I can think of, The Rock has won multiple WWE champions, championships, and he was lucky he even got that. I was think, or actually, I remember he almost got fired or something because, you know, he was so low or he wasn't getting any sort of reaction or anything. So I was thinking, or they, I heard that he was actually going to get fired very soon, but that's when, obviously, he went to McMahon and asked for a chance, and obviously he got that chance and he ran with it. Um, another one, Booker T. Booker T was really ma a, more of a jobber when he first came in. Then, you know, he built his uh, potential towards the WWE title, the World Heavyweight title, mainly the World Heavyweight title, and he ends up winning that title about three, four months or four years later, uh, back in 2006. So, um, at the Great American Bash, actually. But a uh, little, little fun fact there. But, um, you know, they had Bobby Lashley, like I said, but he was not an actual world champion. Granted, I, would, I wouldn't, I don't really count the ECW title, honestly, because it really wasn't much of a title. It wasn't, it didn't have that sort of prestige that the WWE title had, and the WWF, and, you know, all these guys. And I remember, like, back in the original ECW, that was where the main ECW guys, like, if you won the ECW title, you were the best in the business. And that was back, like, in WWF and in WCW as well. But, honestly, they're making the titles a joke. Like, the World Heavyweight title, really, it just looks like a joke on SmackDown. I mean, really, you don't really have anybody who's at that caliber that's actually going to beat Randy Orton for that title. But, same thing with John Cena. But, you know, we'll see if our truth can destroy the odds and get the capital punishment uh, thing. Um... I really don't understand why there hasn't been any sort of African-American world champions. Granted, I know a lot of them are mid-card. I mean, you know, D'Lo Brown, The Godfather, Kofi Kingston, uh, MVP, Mark Henry, Ezekiel Jackson. Look at all these guys that I've been saying. All these African-Americans. Rocky Johnson, Sheldon Benjamin, um, Tony Atlas, Ahmed Johnson. So all these... Virgil, for that opinion, Virgil won a, uh, Virgil won the Million Dollar Championship, but still, I wouldn't even count that as a world title, like, I, it, that's got me figure, is WWE, you know, do they not want a black champion, like, does that make them sound, feel inferior or something, like, oh no, well, since we have an er, African American champion, that means TNA can take the ball and run with it. It doesn't mean that. Like, you can have Kofi Kingston as your world champion. Granted, I wouldn't be the biggest fan of that. If you guys didn't know me already, I am not the biggest Kofi Kingston fan. But you can have him be the world champion, and honestly, he'll put up some good matches. Honestly, he probably could have been at that main, or at that spot if it wasn't for Randy Orton anyway. So, um, so I really don't get the point of no African-American champions. Like, honestly, I think Kofi Kings is probably the one guy that I can see going back into the main event picture. I'm not a fan of Kofi Kingston really at all. He hasn't... Only reason why is he hasn't been impressing me as of late, so hold on. I feel like our truth Taking a drink during a video, just no. Anyway, um... So, yeah, honestly... Hold on a second, guys. Got my notes ready already. Um... I probably, I actually should have scratched out Raw and put Tough Enough because this is one of the only times I've actually talked about Tough Enough on the show. And honestly, I think I, honestly, I think I should have talked a lot more about it because this was actually the A show. I think Tough Enough was the A show. 
Raw was really the B show, and you know SmackDown hasn't been doing very good as of late. That's gonna be probably next week's rant is about SmackDown and their stars. So um, until later tonight, I am Perry the Entertainer signing off, and thank you guys for watching my 101st video after coming back from an illness. Thank you guys so much, making me feel at home on YouTube and. God, thank you guys so much. And um, until next time, guys, Perry the Entertainer signing off, and peace out. I love doing that.